Assalamualaikum, Dr. Zakir. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, my name is Nand Kumar. I'm a petroleum engineer here. I'm from Pakistan. My question is this: the, as per Sanatan Dharam, the birth comes after birth. As per uh, the theory that uh, we have to take birth as depending on the karmas and the deeds, we have to take the change clothes. And uh, in, in Hinduism, we are following the same: that uh, you are getting a good family a royal family or in poor family or you are disabled from birth or you are dying in a younger age it's depending on the deeds or the karmas of the past birth what does it uh, shows in the islam does it the body is giving the based on the karmas or deeds if he is uh, getting birth in the royal family or he is getting birth in the papa otherwise he is getting uh, disabled in the birth so what is the drawback of that to get this diet? The brother is asking the question about cycle of birth and rebirth with or with Islam. If you read in, if you read the Hindu scripture, if you read the Vedas, it talks about punar janam. Punar means next, Last janam time. means life. Even Islam believes in next life. But in the Islam you say brother, the same body will become. Brother, let me complete. You ask the question, correct? Yeah. Let me give the answer. Okay, proceed. I didn't start the answer also in your... Sabar. In Allah ma sabrin. Allah is with those who do sabar. You asked such a long question, I kept quiet. Okay. I am start to give the answer, now you give your comment. So in, in Hinduism, if you read the Vedas, it talks about punar, miss next, janam miss life. Even Quran speaks about next life. Nowhere in the Veda does it speak about death life, death life, death life. Nowhere. It is there in the lower scriptures. I'll come to it later on. In Islam, we believe we come in this world once. After we die, we'll be resurrected in the next life. That's it. Even Veda speaks about Punar Janam. Quran speaks about Punar Janam. But most of the Hindus, they believe in a philosophy called as Samskara. Samskara means a cycle of birth, death, birth, death, birth, death, which is not to be found anywhere in the Vedas. We read Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita says that how an old body throws away the old clothes, so will a body take a new body. How a person throws the old clothes and wears new clothes, similarly body will throw away the old soul and take a new soul. Now this is what is said not by the Shruti. Shruti in Hindu scripture means word of God. Smriti means word written by human beings. So nowhere in the Vedas will you find about this concept of cycle of birth and death and birth and death. It is found in the lower scriptures. Now why did the scholars of Hinduism come with the philosophy called a samskara? Because they could not justify that some people are born in the rich family, some people in the poor family, some people are born Hindi, some people are born handicapped. So they could not blame, how can God be unjust? So because they could not justify why some people are born handicapped, some people are born in rich family, some people in poor family, they came with this philosophy that he did some mistake in the Punar Janam, sorry, in the previous life, he did a mistake, therefore he's born handicapped. And they believe that a living creature takes the human form seven times. Correct? If you do good deeds, you are born in the higher category, correct? Mm -hmm. Hindu scripture. Okay. Now, brother, I'm asking you a question. Is evil in the world increasing or decreasing? Evil depending on... Uh, in I'm asking self. you the question today in the world. Is evil increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Ah, what depending? Everyone will say increasing unless you don't need the newspapers. Increasing, correct? The population of human beings is increasing or decreasing? Increasing. So isn't it contradicting? If, if evil is increasing, population of the world should decrease or not? Because human is the highest form. That is the reason this philosophy is illogical. No, but in the sense you can do many life is destroyed. Brother, let me complete my answer. You are asking me questions sometimes in between. No, I am asking you that is increasing or decreasing, you gave the answer. But I am protecting my question. Protecting, okay. How will you protect your question? You are asking the, the human population is increasing. If you go in the back of the Jurassic uh, area, there are too many animals that is now not in the land. 
So we have cut all the forest trees, the jungles is now converting the cities. So these animals, these plants, and these, uh, the plants are also the birth. This is also the jannah. So these types of the uh, roots or the souls or the atmas has been uh, generated in the humans, and the animals and trees and plants has been eradicated from that. So the plants should become less, the plants are increasing or not? No, plants are getting a cutting, the forest and the jungles is going to be eradicated and they're becoming the cities and uh, villages. Is it increasing or not? Animals are increasing or not as a whole? No, not increasing. Animals are increasing or decreasing, you don't know. Science, you Google. No. You Google. Just for cattles, just for You're cattles. just arguing for sake of arguing. Without knowledge. Correct? Without knowledge. Now, I am asking you the question. This cycle of birth and death, it is mentioned nowhere in the Vedas. Is it mentioned? Give me reference. No, I am different upon the Shri Bhagavad Gita. But Bhagavad Gita is not a Shruti, it is a Smriti. Which is more higher, Bhagavad Gita or the Veda? Vedas is the, we can say, it's the word of the God, the four books. Ah, Bhagavad Gita is not the word of God. Bhagavad Gita is a part of Mahabharat. Mahabharat is the Shruti. It's advice given by Sri Krishna. To Arjuna. To Arjun. It is part of Mahabharat. Mahabharat, the word of God, is Mahabharat superior or Veda superior? Veda. Uh, correct. I am quoting from higher scripture, you are quoting from low scripture. So now coming back to it. The scholars of Hinduism could not justify why some human beings are born handicapped, some human beings are healthy. So they came with this philosophy of karma and dharma, mm -hmm. which is not part of the Veda. In Islam, what do we say? That we come in this world as a test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Mul, chapter number 6 and verse number 2, Allah di khalakal mawta wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. <coughs> this life is a test for the hereafter. So we come in this life only once. Now every time the test differs with different people. Some people, Almighty God, gives them wealth. Now when He gives them wealth, he says that you should give zakat. Every rich person who has a saving of more than the nisab level, more than 85 grams of gold, he or she should give 2.5% of that excess wealth in charity. It's called a zakat. So if he gives you wealth, you have to give zakat. If you are poor, you don't have to give zakat. So he makes some people rich and test them, does he give zakat or not? He makes some people poor, they don't have to give zakat. Some people he makes healthy, some people with def heart defects. <coughs> now, Quran says, He has made your children as a test for you. Maybe the parents are very pious. They are praying five times a day. They have a child which is born with congenital heart disease. God wants to check them by giving them a test. Do they yet believe in God or not? The person who has with congenital defect, he has done no sin. It is wrong to say that a child is sinful. Why? In Islam, we believe every child is born as sinless. How can I be irresponsible? So in Islam, people are born in rich family and poor family as a, as a test. They are born healthy or with a defect as a test. Depending upon the test, for example, if in an examination the question paper is very difficult, the correction is lenient, correct? Mm -hmm. If the question paper is easy, the correction is stricter. So depending upon the facility Almighty God has given you, this life is a test for the hereafter. So it is illogical to say that we have been born handicapped because we did a sin in the last life. Illogical. Okay, yeah, just That's the reason in Islam, this life is a test for the hereafter. Same what is mentioned in the Veda. So Quran matches with the Veda. What is mentioned in the other scripture is not matching with the Veda. That is the reason I discarded. Hope that answers the question.